Hey yo guys, me Circle, welcome back to another video of Last Dinner Survival. So right now I have a couple of new and great news to share with you and after that we are gonna go for the raid. So let's just start from the news. So as you can see here on the screen there is like some sort of a picture and let's just quickly read what it has to say. Before it all started, Max got taken down to the police station. Nothing serious, some petty offense. He'd be out in a couple of days if it wasn't the apocalypse. But now that zombies are roaming the streets, his fate is unknown. You take your father's rifle, a few magazines and go to the central square. It's not that easy. but to reach the police station. Will you try to go in through the main entrance or find the back door at everyone? Pay attention. It's an interactive quest, so your choice will influence the way story goes. So from what I believe, they are trying us to tell here like some sort of a story. And at the same time, I believe we will be able to play this story in the main game. Because as we've seen, they've already added like seven uh, days events, like where there was that drone where they kidnapped you and they did all that stuff. And a lot of people enjoy these events, myself included. I really loved them. It was something super fun. So I believe that they are going to maybe start adding some more events like that, except this one is going to be more interactive. So I believe that maybe we will get like some sort of an event like close to the police station. At least this is just my assumption. And then we will have to go inside of it. And depending on our choices, we will get different outcomes. And I really, really love that because this is something super interesting. This is what Last Dinner community likes a lot and myself included. I love that. So I can't wait to see uh, how far this event is going to lead us. And again, what kind of rewards we're gonna get because for these special events i wish that developers did us gave us great rewards because again if we're gonna get if we're gonna get lame rewards we aren't really gonna remember that event but if we're gonna get better rewards everything will be great and nobody's asking for stacks of steel but again a little like three copper bars like a piece of steel like some sort of random glock or like some sort of a blueprint you know that would be very great and everybody would really really appreciate that so what are your thoughts on this event and you and this interactive story do you think it's gonna come in last on earth very soon and are you excited about that because i'm I'm excited myself and leave your speculation on what that might be. I gladly read those. And the next thing that I wanted to show you is these two new zombies. Most likely you've already seen them if you have seen my community post on YouTube. But basically developers have to say this about these two new zombies. In today's under development section, let us introduce you to a new couple of guys whose main goal is to cause you as much trouble as possible. So these are low-key toxic spitters. We won't tell you where you will meet them and what they will do. You'll find out when you run into them. So I have no idea what they're gonna do, but I I believe that the zombie on the left might be somewhere from the sector 7 and maybe even the zombie on the right is going to be from sector 7 as well because at least that's how it feels like because look at the suit it has that radiation sign and he has like some sort of a mask i have no idea what is this maybe it broke maybe it's something like it really i have no idea what that is it looks like he just put it totally the different way you know it looks like it has to be on his mouth but it feels like he just put that mask upside down on his head especially the dude on the left not especially but the dude on the left because the other one doesn't even have that mask and uh, so maybe he's gonna be from the sector seven at least from that so it feels like it's like some sort of a floater bloater but he has some sort of mods on him <laughs> and the dude on the left i have no idea what it might be it just looks like a creepy zombie so i'm not sure what that's gonna happen or maybe we're gonna see them in the dungeons maybe this is gonna be the co the cooperative dungeon but i kind of doubt that i believe that this is going to be in the sector seven or maybe no and also they say that their main goal is to cause you as much trouble as possible the point is the same goal is for every other zombie but i believe that they are gonna be something more special they don't look really that weak i don't see these zombies being very slow especially the dude on the right i feel like the other dude is gonna be very fast so maybe they're gonna be like some sort of mini bosses i maybe they're not gonna be just simple zombies and for some reason it feels like the dude on the right is gonna be pretty tall it looks like he's gonna be the size of revadger because revadger is a pretty tall dude and i believe the other dude on the right is gonna be as tall as revadger for some reason because uh, judging by his hands and by his legs he looks pretty tall and also what is your opinion on these zombies do you think they'll be like some sort of mini bosses or they'll be just some random zombies that we'll have to fight or maybe they're gonna be something different at all so now now when we're done with all the news let's just hope for the raid i took enough hatchets i took enough c4s i even took three bottles of water so that should be totally enough and my raiders tasks are totally done here i finished all of them <coughs> <coughs> so let's hit that complete button and let's get the hell out of here and hopefully we are gonna get something of a great raid like again i'm not hoping for something super crazy amazing but again whatever we're gonna get whatever we're gonna get i just i'm just gonna stop hoping for something at all the only thing that i'm hoping for is that it's gonna be at least interesting based raid okay so we're gonna be raiding falcon let's go on youtube and let's type ldoe raid falcon and we will see what kind of a raid is this well i've just done some research and it looks like we are gonna get a pretty big base but for that i will need way more hatchets 
So I am gonna take my stash of iron hatches like that should be enough and I'll leave one more c4 back in the chest because I totally don't need two c4s for that raid most likely I don't even need a single c4 there But I'm still gonna take one c4 just in case and like always I didn't check what kind of loot We are gonna get inside of the base from all I've seen that you can't really get there anything amazing But again, we will see maybe the dudes didn't open the proper chests or something I've just seen that it doesn't require c4s and that's it and I closed the video and also if I'm not mistaken I should be chopping down most likely from the left side from the top That's where we are gonna get the best loot or maybe not really I don't even know where we're supposed to go from I'll try to just for example go from over here Not sure if that's gonna work out, but hey, let's try it out So here we go our first wall we're going to chop it down and there's gonna be another wall and I just got some wood. Definitely gotta take that. But can I chop down the wall, dude? Like, not the... Okay, most likely just chopping down now another workbench or something. Or maybe not really. Okay, so that's... Okay, I'm inside of the base. And what is this? Most likely this is not the same base that I've seen. Or maybe it is the same. Who knows? Who knows, baby? Whatever, let's try to chop down this ch uh, wall chest. Okay, we just chopped it down and we are almost inside. And what does it look like? I have no idea. I wasted so many hatchets here. I chopped down a couple of walls and so far I got nothing except one stack of wood. And I totally don't know which chest should I be chopping down. Whatever, I'm just gonna chop down here one chest uh, for the sake of education to see if he might have something over here on the side. Well, most likely these four boxes, whatever, five boxes are gonna be totally empty. So I'm not even gonna chop them down now. Now, let's just shred this away wave of zombies with this amazing snap transition. So that wave is now totally cleared. Now let's just chop down another chest. Maybe we're gonna get something inside of this chest, but I doubt this. Well, we got some gasoline and wheels. I had most likely definitely gonna take these wheels. Not sure if I can uh, recycle them into steel or maybe I can, who knows, whatever. I'm most likely gonna take the wheels now and I'll try to chop down uh, this wall from over here if that's gonna be legal. Okay, yes, indeed, guys, I can chop down the wall from here. So let's try to do this. Okie dokie, another chest and most likely gonna chop down just this door now. But imagine if Zombie Horde went through his base like seriously one zombie horde and he wouldn't have any walls here. Oh my god poor dude I know that we are raiding an AI, an AI base. It's not the real base But still that would be fun to see the zombie horde destroying his walls. That would be pretty fun So I don't think we're gonna get here anything great Like he has a lot of chests Like I wouldn't say that this base isn't fun to raid Like I wish we had more bases like that to raid plus I got some stones and I need stones because I don't really farm for stones myself And let's clear another wave of zombies so they're all dead and obviously I would prefer to take something else rather than stones But the truth is there isn't much else you can get from raids I would gladly take something else something more rare maybe iron or something even though you can craft iron yourself But I would prefer to get iron as resource and this way I wouldn't have to grind for it But getting stones is kind of lame because you can just go and grind for those stones yourself Like if I had, if I got bricks that would have been better even though I don't need bricks But bricks at least uh, save up some time but getting stones is just feels lame because you can just go and grind for them easily but again I mean better this than nothing at all I could have just wasted my hatchets and gotten nothing like that is totally possible as well whatever gonna fit fit the wheels inside of the chopper so here we go my chopper is full I'm not sure if I'll be doing here the suicide trick because most likely I won't even be able to fill up my full inventory with cool stuff so far I'm just getting trash but this base looks kind of fun you know it's pretty big so this base is gonna get extra points for being creative not just simple box where you just chop down one wall and all chests are over there that's not fun this base is more fun because you have to walk around uh, the base is pretty big and that's what gives an extra point for this base at least in my opinion and what do you think about that guys raiding more interesting bases is more fun rather than just raiding a simple uh, three by three room here go let's try to chop down uh, one more chest and we will see what we go and get inside of it i'm very glad that i took extra hatchets i believe that's gonna help out well let's take some food not something super amazing leather food uh well i filled up my inventory somehow i have no idea how did that even happen how is that even legal uh what we're gonna chop down this chest maybe we'll get something inside of this one because I have a feeling that we'll get here a stack of steel and inside we got broken gun god damn it another wave of zombies Okay, so this is most likely the last wave of zombies, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right? Okay, I almost killed all of them. So what I will do now is kill everybody but one toxic abomination. And then I'm gonna die from them. And then I'll get even more space to my base. Am I right? Whatever, I'm just gonna let them kill me. It's not gonna be a big deal. They don't really have much health. So this toxic abomination is gonna just now totally shred me into tiny little pieces. And my chopper is full of stuff. So I'm gonna die. Gonna get back to my base. Gonna empty my chopper. And then I'll come back here just for some extra stuff. Even 
even though it's all trash, but again, let's just bring more trash to the base. It's maybe gonna be useful one day, and it's not like I have another choice here. It's better to bring a lot of trash than little trash to the base. What? So here we go. We just died. Now we're gonna go and empty the chopper. So gonna take those uh, stacks of stones, uh, some uh, planks, and let's go quickly to the recycler and see if I will be able to recycle these wheels into steel, if they are even worth it. Yes, we have chance, guys, to get steel, so this is cool. Like, I do love the wheels, then it's pretty good that we took the wheels. They have a potential to give us a steel. That's cool. And I most likely... This full guy's rack is almost full of this kind of trash, so I'll start recycling that as well. And yes, indeed, the base is still over there, so let's just go back to it and let's take everything. So I'm back at his base and most likely these zombies now are gonna start attacking me, but they don't have almost any HP and I took three extra. Where are my bandages? Dude, I had my bandages. Did I take them off again? Here, go keep them over here. And where is another toxic? Oh, I killed that other one. Okay. So now let's equip all our stuff back. Bada bing, bada bingus. So whatever, let's go and let's chop down a couple of extra chests. I don't believe that I'll get here anything amazing at all. But again, let's at least try. Like this room was the most protected. So I would say that maybe this room had the most stuff. Well, he has some of other trash here, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Well, let's try to chop down this small box. Please tell me what we're going to get inside of this small box. Well, we got some more wood. I wouldn't say no to that. Like it's not something super amazing because some people are going to think that I'm just crazy that I get excited about wood. And again, of course, I would love to take something else rather than that goddamn wood because for those who didn't watch yesterday's live stream you saw that I just took basically a bunch of hatchets a bunch of stone hatchets and I went to the red wood area and I just put my character on auto and I farmed like what almost full inventory of wood I came back home with like maybe 200 wood in like a couple of minutes without even trying to farm so getting wood is really easy but I'm just getting excited about because it's better than nothing here go I filled my uh, full inventory here go let's leave the c4 and did I loot his truck okay his truck is totally empty it says chest but it's a truck it's not a chest he has some red paint but again i don't need that red paint anymore so i'm not gonna bother about it well there's one more chest let's try to chop that down and i feel like this is gonna be almost the last chest and inside we just got some nuts and some berries well that's not cool at all this is not something that i need and uh, now it's getting confusing don't really know what chest to chop down here we go let's try to chop down this chest this is almost the last one i believe and this was totally empty well that's really sad and really disappointing gotta take the green tickets because there's nothing else to take it will be very hard now to fill up my inventory i could take some mobile phones but again i don't need that but whatever let's take it maybe we'll recycle them for the high-tech components and i got a stack of bricks and some meat let's take that and the rest i don't think there's anything else i can take all oh, the wood i totally forgot about the wood i was so excited about the wood that i didn't even take it let's take the wood instead of the four yellow tickets uh, orange excuse me and the green tickets that'll be better okay that's a bit better chopping down the last chest and then i'm getting the hell out of here okay my tool was broken please tell me the big one isn't gonna trap me well that's it i'm getting out of here getting out of here as fast as possible the big one please don't destroy me i'm gonna be a very 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 nice boy that's it guys we're done with the base this is what i got and i will rate it a 2.5 i mean okay the base was pretty fun it was big so i'm gonna give it an extra half a point so three Let's rate this base 3 out of 10. Not the best loot, totally not the worst loot, and I took a lot of it. I used the tactical backpack to rate that base. Also, I did the suicide trick toy, so I got even more stuff, and we can bag home with full, full inventory. So if you're interested in supporting this channel, then consider joining YouTube membership. It really helps the channel a lot. Just click that join button down below, and you'll get all the information that you need. Or also consider me following on Twitter, Twitch, or Instagram, at Epicyric. All links are over here on the screen. I highly suggest you checking out my life after Let's Play. Just click here on the first card, and you'll go check the way there. Or click here on the second card and you'll watch a recommended video just for you. And I'm uploading such videos on YouTube every single day. So make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also, guys, drop that like button while we're at it. And peace, 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 peace out. Mm-hmm. Yep.